Hey Wonder Friends, you ready to get funky with some flowers? Let's draw it. Friends, today we are going to draw some funky flowers. Funky flowers mean that they do a funky little dance. That's what our flowers are going to do, and we're going to keep these very simple. But I want you to know that you can change the top of this flower into any kind of flower you want. We're just going to use this to create a base character that you can change the top. So as we're drawing this, if you want to change the top, feel free to change the top. I want to remind you of two things. Number one, you're going to draw different than me, and that's okay. I get paid to do this stuff, this is my job. You maybe are just learning this. You're not gonna draw just the same as me, but that's the point. I want you to learn how to draw, and this is a great way to do it. Number two, uh, you might mess up, or you think I talk too much, or I talk too loud, or what? You can pause the video, you can rewind the video, you can mute me, or just get a new piece of paper and start over. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to drawing. With our page up and down, I'm gonna draw, very simple, just a circle. And I'm gonna make some flower shapes around it. They don't have to be right or wrong. Because guess what? There's no such thing. It's just the flower you made, right? It doesn't have to be the exact flower or something that's out there. You can change it up any way you want. Those little lines in there are just kind of like little petal spots, things like that. Now, funky flowers. Think of like some things that would be kind of funky that kind of show that idea. I think sunglasses is a great way to do that. Um, if you just draw a straight line across, just do some little half circles on each side and fill those in. Now we have some cool, hey man, I'm a cool flower. I got glasses on, I got sunglasses, I'm cool. And we're gonna draw a smile, cause I mean, I don't dance. I mean, I do, if you wanna call what I do dancing, but it's not. It's more like I flail around, my arms just go all over and it, it, looks, like, it looks like I'm in pain, but really I'm trying to dance. I just don't know how. Uh, and I'm gonna put some eyebrows up on top just for kicks and then now we want to use that body to, to sell the language that he it's dancing we can do that by just doing like a little curve here now the good thing is is that we flowers don't actually dance so we can kind of bend the rules of what would be like a person dancing right so we can kind of draw one hand up here like let's pretend those are arms and let's make some little petal shapes on each side. Those are like raindrop shapes, right, on each side. Now think about some legs. We can have like one leg up, like the characters like, you know, dancing, 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 dancing. And then we can have another one down just like this. The character is getting funky, getting funky. Yeah, yeah, getting funky. All right, we can have any kind of things like you want, like you can put, some music notes around things like that are all great ways to to say that it's dancing i think little line like action lines are a great way to show movement things like that now this is a nice quick drawing that you could totally do at any time and change it up in any way so i encourage you to change the top of this flower any way that you want the nice thing about these little things are so simple, you can draw a bunch of them and change them up. You can draw your friends as flowers and change them up, stuff like that. These are great ways, to, things to do to make art for other people. Um, and so if you wanna color just like me, just wait till the end of the video and you can always pause it and see how I finished coloring it. Or you can go ahead and color it yourself right now and see how you compared to what I did. Uh, the last thing though is we need to do is we just need to sign our name on it so everyone knows who made this awesome piece of art. Hey Wonder Friends, did you have a good time drawing those funky flowers? I know we drew one, but I want you to draw a bunch of other ones. What would it be if you, what would you do? Here's a great exercise on how to get better at may, being an illustrator and doing creative things. What would your dad be like as a flower? What would your mom be like as a flower? What would your grandma be like as a flower? Change those characteristics up. Maybe your dad has a big bushy beard or a big mustache. Draw that on the flower. Draw him as a flower. Dancing, getting funky. I can't dance, but you know, I can move my arms and it may look like I'm dancing, but really I'm just standing still. But see, I've, uh, I've mastered the art of dad dancing. That's called dad dancing, where you put your fingers up and it's pew, 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 pew. That's, that's how dads dance and that's how I dance and it's not good.
then that's okay. I have fun doing it. So whatever. All right, guys, speaking of fun, I want you to check out the next video that's coming up. We're guaranteed to learn how to draw something that you may not think you can right now, but with a little bit of help and some practice from you, guarantee that you will master it. Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com, for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!